Oh, now the chapter begins. It's a pretty seamless transition. But yeah, I'll, I'll get more into my idea here because I thought I thought I forgot that it happens in Nightwolf's chapter and not um, and not Sub Zero's. I don't think Nightwolf used knives in, in the in the in the original uh, game. I think it was always his tomahawks. I think he's going to use lightning. Shoulder, lightning, arrow shot. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of surprised that they don't put me here. Oh, you can't do this to me, Quan Chi. Fuck off and die. Ah. God, new fucking motherfucker. He, he, he can teleport too, what the fuck? Yeah, take that lightning to your balls. If you have them. Piece of fucking piece of shit. What the fuck? Stop teleporting! It's not that interesting to move, but but it's, it's great it's been done on Quan Chi. In the eye, in the eye, you slag, motherfucker. <laughs> now snap your own neck. <laughs> I will defeat you in the eye. Okay, let's see what the moves have got. Haha! <laughs> An arrow. Your time is over. I used to be a sorcerer like you. Then I took an arrow in the heart. But yeah, now watch this. This, this leads to what I think could be an interesting scenario. See this draws parallels, I think, with an event from Deadly Alliance. In Deadly Alliance, Shang Tsung and Quan Chi had their own soul nado opened up, which I guess is where they came up with the idea of Quan Chi opening this one. Basically, Scorpion gets thrown into the soul nado, and he should be torn apart by uh, the heavens, where the soul nado leads to, but instead, he, um... That's what soul nado is, it's part of the heavens, not just a creation from a few souls. And the idea is that Scorpion should be destroyed, as it happens in his in his ending, but they retcon in Deception so that instead he is he escapes into the void where he meets the Elder Gods and, and becomes their champion. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if Noob did the same thing? So in this timeline, he's the one who escapes into the the uh, the void, the Nexus, wherever, meets the Elder Gods, and they're like, "We'd like you to be our champion," and they restore him partly. So he, so he is. Part Sub Zero, part Noob Cyber. An amalgamation of the two with the powers of both. That would be sweet. How do we know? Raiden could be having visions of possible futures, not the future. But they didn't do that. Sonya's right. Was I supposed to have my arms replaced with these? Or was it caused by interfering with the timeline? My head hurts just thinking. Now where's Johnny's sunglasses? This isn't helpful. We cannot second guess. Actually, yeah, I think Johnny doesn't have his sunglasses again for the rest of the story. Wait, I think he just lost yourself. him in Outworld. Raiden? Yes, that is best. <laughs> sorry, What's sorry, that? I wasn't listening. What, Katana? Night Wolf. And it is and Liu Kang's here now. He wasn't before. It's funny how it only cracks when Raiden looks at it. Oh, is it not enough? All how weak that is. It's like, eh. I must speak with the elder gods. Shao Kahn's violation must be punished. But the battle yeah, is so now he's just like, fuck it, I'm going to the Elder Gods. Without the Elder Gods. But Master Liu Kang, the now he's... Nightwolf, you will lead until we was Liu Kang even there when Raiden said that to him? No, no, he wasn't. It was it was Jax and Sonya. But he takes Liu Kang with him well, now what? for the sake of this scene. 
which is a dumb one. The Lin Kuei, they surround us. They clearly teleported in, so I don't know how he knew that. But yeah, this scene is... So much for standing around. It's not the beginning of this scene, which is dumb. It's the rest of it. And look, why is Nightwolf the leader of the Earthrealm Warriors when Raiden's gone? Like, he's hardly been around. If you can assign someone to be the leader, surely... Jax or Sonya would be the logical choices. And look, well, again, it's like, why have they not altered the stage? You've got these guys in the background. Like, they can do it. They did do it with Khan's Arena. But, but, but then they're repeatedly not doing it. I mean, they could, just have a, they could have a couple of characters in the background just do, doing some preset fight animations from the bridge and just do that. It's so stupid. Take that! But yeah, I, I'll, I'll get more into the scene as it plays out because there is a lengthy cutscene at the end of it that will allow me plenty of time to explain a number of problems I have with the scene because it was probably the worst scene in the game. Oosh! But yeah. It's, it's just like there's basically no... Th the Lin Kuei posed no threat here because like the Lin, because the Lin Kuei just... They, they're pathetic and weak. You know, I'm trying not. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself and spoil too much in case you've not seen, if you, you if not, don't know the story to this game. Which you know, if you're watching this, you've probably at least seen my review of it. But I don't want to spoil it. But at the same time, it's all, all I can think about is just how bad this fucking scene ends up becoming. Fucker. Cyrax, you prick. Why do you make me not like you and teleport shit? Because I like Cyrax. He's always been my favourite of the cyborgs. Night Bitch. Wins. Mere speed and skill will not win this war, Cyrax. <laughs> Look at this. Smoke is such a jobber, much like Johnny Cage. And he's just getting his head kicked in. And there's Jade fighting some dude, dude in the background. <laughs> and it does nothing. You are no match for the power of the spirits. Round one. Fight. Got that move. Got this move. Ah. Ah. So I think that's an uh, that's a, um intended as an anti. -er. Which is cool. Which would be really useful actually if, if, if you block uh, Sector's teleport move. I'm pretty sure that would be him suspended in the air just long enough to, to do that. Oh! How does that not kill him? You know, I, I, could, I could accept if, if, if uh, stuff like that never killed anyone in MK, but when, when it's done in finishers, it clearly does. It was almost like it's like an MK4, where characters had uh, throws that involved like snapping the opponent's torso backwards or breaking the neck. And, and it, which is weird because the neck break seemed like the most common cause of death in Mortal Kombat, above anything else. Like, seriously, the number of times it's done it. Did it I, I think the first time it was utilized was for Liu Kang's death in the original timeline, in Deadly Alliance. And then, then they, just, they just use it all the time. Oh, I'm going to lose this round, I can tell. He's going to do a bunch of teleport spamming and then I'm going to die. Oh, that was good. I knocked him out with his teleport before he could get underway. That is a good move. Perhaps even you can be safe. Now, I want you to keep in mind that, just watch this scene. The Earthrealm Warriors just dominate the cyborgs. They just beat the shit out of all of them. The cyborgs don't kill anyone. They pose no threat. Oh, and sections. Oh, there's Cyrax on the floor, I think, and there's Sector, and they all just Wait. disappear after, after this. I think it's just after a few more camera shots they disappear. Mother. Yeah, Sindel just went and changed clothes for whatever reason. <laughs> what? Oh, look, Jade's wearing different clothes for whatever reason. Why does it not affect Nightwolf? See, Nightwolf is just... Kung Fu! 
forward. Now what's the next chosen one? I will finish with the Link Quay I don't know why they made it such a big deal with Nightwolf. Let's now this is done. They're all going one by one. And watch this. Just, just a couple of... Wait, Johnny's got his sunglasses back? What? It only takes a few hits to beat anyone. Then watch this. Okay. And now watch this. And that's it. Three hits and he's down. You saw that, right? If you don't know the story, then yes, that is true. Sindel just broke Smoke's neck. Rips out Jade's heart. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell just watching it, but most of the characters are dead now. That's that's the reason she, Sindel was given Shang Tsung's power, so she could go through and dominate everyone. She killed Cyber Sub Zero in three punches. The guy who beat Goro and Kintaro at the same time. And yet, it's also except Shang Tsung is super weak. Yet his power, giving his power to Sindel, allows her to dominate Cyber Sub Zero. Like, Mother, please. I am no it, it's, it's, it's just so wrong. Mother, this is not your way. Shao Kahn has corrupted you. It's, it's Shao just, Kahn has resurrected me. You have betrayed It's just me. so bad. Remember Edenia, Mother. Remember your rule before Shao Kahn's I just, invasion. Quiet, child. It is time for you to join your it's just so wrong. And then, then for some reason she uses magic to start draining Katana's life force. Instead of just killing her quickly. I love how you can, I love how you can hear Katana screaming. Even though all Sindel's doing is just Monster. holding out a ha just, just draining the life force. And Katana's face is... Still alive. is her face weren't even moving. It's just her mouth was slightly open. With your and again, why is Nightwolf so powerful now? Like... It, it makes no sense. Nightwolf is just suddenly like the most hardcore motherfucker in the game, other than Sindel. And spoiler alert, he's able to beat her. It, it's, it's, it's just so stupid. The, the way the, the way characters are randomly more powerful at different points in the game, and how Nightwolf of all people. What, if Nightwolf is so tough, why did he lose to Scorpion? But I remember Nightwolf lost a match to Scorpion in the tournament. So unless he's gone through like a, a, an intense training session with, I don't know, Shujinko or something, there's no way he could possibly be this powerful that he can beat Sindel, who's beating everyone else. I mean, if you really think about that, Goron Kintaro is super hardcore. Cyber Sub Zero is able to beat them, so he's, be he's tougher than both of them combined. Sindel is able to beat him in three hits, so, he so she's better than him. Nightwolf can beat Sindel, so, so he's better than her. Scorpion can beat um Scorpion beat Nightwolf, so he's tougher than he's tougher than that. So surely someone who can beat Scorpion is tougher than everyone else, like normal Sub Zero before he's Cyber Sub Zero. You know? Or Liu Kang beat him and Quan Chi together, so Liu Kang should still be the toughest. I I guess. Because Liu Kang hasn't actually lost any fights yet. But we did have some tr seems to have trouble with Shiva. For whatever reason. I right, it's just Round complete three. bollocks. Fight. God, the throat's really hurting now from all this talking. Come on, Sindel, just go down already. You know, I like Sindel, especially in Deception, but I think, I think she was really good in Deception. She had a really, she had a really good story. Actually, in Deception, it was, it was possibly intended as like a reference to um, MK3 because again, MK3 Sindel was under mind control, and during Deception, Katana's under mind control along with her Earthrealm allies. So, so Sindel was out to save her daughter from the mind control. So maybe it was, a, maybe that was meant to be a reference. Of course, that's never going to happen now. After all this bullshit. But something that just really annoys me is the fact that what ultimately comes after this game is MKX, the next generation Tekken 3 style game that they were planning to do after Armageddon anyway. 
But we have to go through this to get there? It beats and just gets back up. I don't think about the casting in this game with Nightwolf. Is that Nightwolf's played by an, a guy of actual Native American descent. But the guy's a comedian. Where are you? They, they cast a comedian as a super serious, stoic Nightwolf. Like, what? Why? Elder gods, I beseech you. Earth oh, not is the Elder Gods with actual danger. human forms. We are aware of your plight, Raiden. Then you must intervene on Earth Of course, they're all just using have. other voice actors. I can hear Michael Khan McConaughey, and I think Lani Minella as well. Twice, yet he still Shao Kahn has not violated the rules of Mortal Kombat. Yes, he has! He invades Earthrealm. He has! Invasion is not itself a transgression. Why? It is the merger of realms that is prescribed. No! A distinction without a difference! The innocence are no! at the hands of Fuck Earth. off, that's not right! The whole point, but like, Khan was, was invading realms and taking over them. That's why Mortal out. Kombat was established. They so Shao Kahn couldn't do that. The Elder Gods were like, if you want to take Earthworm, you have to win ten tournaments in a row against their best warriors. And that was the idea. But now they're saying, oh no, it's not breaking the rules if he invades after giving up his entitlement to ever compete for, for Earthrealm again. What the fuck is this shit? It's just an excuse for the Elder Gods to not get involved. Because the entire plot would fall apart otherwise. In that case, you come up with an explanation for why it's somehow legal. Find a real excuse, not just, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's only, only cheated if he actually succeeds in his plan. I, are you serious? And here it's like, yes, yeah, Sindel's having a lot of trouble beating Nightwolf after he just killed everyone else. Uh, she, she just kills everyone else and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna fight you and he's super hard. And then Nightwolf can do this. And that's it. So I'm just gonna. So if, if you don't know, I'm just gonna say right now who is still alive. Earthrealm has Raiden, Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade. I wish we had met. Something's up with Kitana's right eye, I think. Different circumstances. And now Kitana dies. Kitana. There are only four heroes left, and of course, of course, it's the ones from MK1 because. We can't have anyone after MK1 surviving. Like dead. This 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 whole This this game. My heart Like surely if you didn't like I've mentioned how much I hate this game and surely by now you understand why. Because it is ruinous to the MK franchise and it Actually gets worse from here. What is next, Raiden? Tell me the future. It How gets worse going into the final chapter. I climbed to heaven. Now I no, I said this was my least favourite scene, death. but there might actually be another one that I hate even more than this. Yeah, he's gonna go to Quan Chi Rob to form an alliance. Quan Chi? What will he demand? What price will be paid? Would any price be too high to save Earthrealm? This is awful. And again, I had prayed it, it gets through. worse. But you have gone mad, Raiden. Your visions, they are nothing. Delusions of an adult mind. Liu Kang, please. It's like, Enough. I wouldn't mind so much with the heroes, uh, heroes dying if they died over the course of the story in better scenes. Like, have them lose a fight against one of the villains and get killed. Like, have someone die in the Outworld tournament. Let Smoke be killed by Sector. Or Noob, or Cyber Sub-Zero. Give them deaths spread out throughout the story like Kung Lao's. Have their deaths mean something. Fuck me.